Joining us this morning, Dreyfus and Mellon, Chief Economist and Macro Strategist, Vincent Reinhardt. Vincent, it's great to have you back. Uh, kind of echoes with what uh, Nick Timmero said in the journal earlier this week, that this, this, long, this rise at the long end uh, might uh, ameliorate the need for another hike. That was in the Fed projections. Uh, a lot of mites and maize in there. There's a case to be made that a higher 10-year yield actually is a restraint on activity because it's about risk. Investors are a little more worried. Correlations are different. And so they demand a bigger term premium on, on Treasury yields. That means you get a more policy restraint for the same short rate because the yield curve is a little more, more upward slope. So it, it, it might be that. It could be more crowding out uh, that we are worried about government spending. We're worried about big debt and deficits. That would actually uh, uh, be, again, uh, a reason for the Fed not to actually have to, to carry, it, carry it forward. Uh, they've got time. Uh, they've said they'd do a quarter point by the end of the year. It's not the end of the year. They got one more meeting. They hate surprises. So no reason to do anything tomorrow. What did you make of uh, Yellen saying that the long end, the term premium is largely about economic growth? There's been a lot of pushback. Uh, Von Vigilante uh, proxies arguing that uh, U.S. rates tend to lead the world. It's not just about uh, e economic growth or rates rising in all countries. Uh, so, look, the nominal yield on the 10 year Treasury is part inflation compensation. It's part real yield, something about the state of our macro economy, and it's part compensation for risk taking. Now, when Secretary Yellen was chair of the Federal Reserve, uh, her whole tenure, the term premium, the risk premium on holding long term Treasury securities were ne was negative. Uh, it's not that world anymore. Investors are increasingly going to want to get compensated for risk. That lifts all boats. Uh, so it's both activity, and when, when we talk about economic activity, that includes how much people are doing and how much the government is borrowing. So Secretary Yellen should look into her own house, too. Uh, she's putting a big demand on, on, on the market to absorb all that Treasury issue. That's part of the reason real rates are higher, too. So, yes, some of it is real. But some of it is also risk premium. And by the way, there's a little bit more inflation compensation. Uh, just look at the index, compare nominal tr treasury yields to inflation protected securities. A little, little creep, creep upward in inflation protection. Are there going to be buyers for all the debt, especially going into next year, which is going to have to be another big year of issuance? And do you think that we could get to a point where the Fed's going to have to switch its tack when it comes to quantitative tightening because of concerns about that? Yeah, so you're packing in a lot in, in, in that question, Sarah. And, and I think a big part of it is, is uh, why would an investor hold government debt? They've got to be confident about the path for future government debt, and they also have to be confident that it's a process that govern it, governs it so it won't get out of control. Well, bad news is the path is pretty much parabolic. It looks like it looks like a fighter coming jet taking off the the carrier, just going straight up. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the process is is broken. Are you confident there won't be a government shutdown on November seventeenth? Probably not. But over the next three months, and oh by the way, you know, how many debt ceiling standoffs would we ha have we had? Is this a government that would be willing to control the path for debt? We got a bad path. We got a bad process. That means that at some point, investors are going to get restive. Not yet. Gov you know, U.S. dollar is a safe haven asset, yeah. but it's not forever. And the more we issue, issue debt well in excess of our, our, our GDP growth, our footprint to be able to, to, to pay for it, uh, the, the more that more that brings that day forward. So the answer is for now, yes. Uh, over the longer haul, no. If you're pricing your decision today, take into account there's going to be rocky road ahead.